Let's get papping. What's happening, everybody? I'm back with another video, and I promise this is not clickbait. We do have a glove that we're going to be showing today because I got it in the mail yesterday. But I did want to do a couple quick updates on the channel. We got a new camera. This is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K. This bad boy is pushing so much harder than the camera we have already, which is also a Blackmagic. Had it for a couple years. We can do a whole other video on that if you guys like. Uh, just comment down below. Let me know if you guys want me to do another video on that. Relacing. Pretty soon, we're going to start relacing some gloves. Just got to get the laces. And with all this stuff going down, I can't even get to the Rawlings store. So, it's bullcrap. But, I can get some laces somewhere else. I think we're going to start relacing gloves. <laughs> so, that's coming soon. Be expecting that. Um, yeah, alright. I've taken enough of your time. Let's get to that unpapping. What's up guys, I'm Dr. Pap and I'm back. But today, we got it on Pappin. All right guys, so today, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, today we have my first ever Marucci. And this is actually one of the Cypress series. I am so elated to see this glove getting here today on my doorstep. I didn't even know it shipped until today and it shipped two days ago. So I was like freaking out. I'm like asking my dad, asking my little brother, I'm like, yo, what do you think? You think it's gonna come in like, Today, you think it's gonna come in tomorrow? I mean, it's gonna definitely get here by Saturday, right? Off with the Rawlings. Time for the first unpapping. In case you don't know, guys, the unpapping is when we're gonna unveil everything that I've been taking my sweet time crafting. We're definitely gonna get you guys involved in the creative process. Oh my god! Dude, it comes with a freaking bag with a freaking backpack just so you guys know I spent a total for the custom here we go for the capital series custom fielding glove this is the infield model by the way guys one quantity I spent a whopping total of I think it was 331 okay anyway are you ready for this freaking bag dude holy crap what the f I am elated this looks freaking phenomenal. Look, I ordered two Pro Preferred Customs from Rawlings. A couple, and look, not this in Rawlings, but let me just tell you something. Those gloves are really nice in quality of the leather. If I open up this box here, and it's, look, I mean, do you hear that? Listen to this. That is nice, bro. And it has a, look at this, it has a handle. I mean. It looks like Gucci. I, dude, it is, it's Maguchi. <laughs> If I open up this this box here, and what's in here beats the quality of a Rawlings Pro Preferred, then, oh my gosh, we've been ordering from the wrong company. I mean, all my gloves right now are Rawlings. This is just primo, though. Oh, my sweet nectar of the gods. This thing came out. This thing is absolutely disgusting. I am in love at first, like at first glance. I'm not even going to put my hand in there yet. First glance, this thing is light, like really light. So that's kind of cool. <clears throat> not to say the other gloves are heavy, um, but it kind of, it, it's very light, but at the same time, it kind of doesn't feel like it's as sturdy as the Rawlings Pro Preferred. So see, not knocking Rawlings, okay? Just to work for them. Love the gloves. Can't be the quality. So we're going to put that to the test. We're going to put it on. Oh yeah, so definitely feels soft. It has Japan leather, Japan steer hide leather, excuse me, um, on the outer shell. Uh, so that's supposed to protect it very well. Uh, and then it has smooth cow hide on the palm and fingers, supposedly. So uh, I can definitely feel that this is a lot softer on the palm area. So I can't wait, to I can't wait to throw this. I mean, but, I mean look at this thing. That looks pretty sweet, right? The infill model, so the Cypress series, apparently this is going to have more of a, I just chose the, the regular pocket. Uh, it's going to be more of like a middle infield style. Grabbing and quick release, that's going to be the main thing with the Cypress series. Really shallow pocket. Like I said, I'm really satisfied with the product. 
uh, that came in. I do like how it has this triple X lace in here. It's kind of cool, kind of naughty. I will say, shipping-wise, uh, they were kind of, I mean, I don't know if it was because of the, all the stuff going on with the pandemic or the epidemic, whatever you want to call it, but they were bad about letting me in on what was going on. Like, I had one email saying they confirmed my order, my order was processed, and I didn't get another email or anything regarding the process until, like I said, I didn't know my glove was getting to my house or that it even was was coming to my house until it got to my house. I think that, I mean, not that that's terrible because like I said so far, pretty awesome quality uh, product at the side of it. I can't wait to pap with it and get it broke in. We'll look back at this baby in a couple months, see how it looks. Uh, other than that though, let me know what's going on, Marucci. I mean, this thing's pretty cool. The bag is phenomenal. I don't know, maybe they didn't talk to me just to like, you know, sell you on the bag. You go, Marucci. I didn't even know I was getting a bag. So what do you guys think about that, huh? Here it is right now. I've actually taken a whole day and a half, almost two days, to gestate this glove. The embroidery on this thing is phenomenal, especially on the Marucci. It pops out so much. It's nice and like, I mean, it, it's well done, dude. It's awesome. The Japan steer hide on the outside feels really, really soft and you know firm at the same time very similar to the pro preferred leather on the rawlings um now the smooth cowhide on the palm is really nice i didn't like it at first whenever i first got it but i'd only have the glove for like five minutes so after being able to like kind of mess with it and you know throwing with it just a little bit inside it's been raining the last couple of days so i haven't really been able to go outside and really pap with it yet but uh this thing is definitely potential for dr pap i went with the uh Carolina blue and the tan and the pink stitching accents just because that's kind of like you know it's always been my little color scheme I've always done uh, so I've never actually had a glove I've had I had a camel glove that I tried to emulate that and then I ruined that glove and we'll talk about that in another video but yeah uh, I've made this glove basically this is like my Dr. Pap official this is the official Dr. Pap glove so there it is it's made by Marucci. The Cypher series is awesome, just from first glance. I can't wait to just get you guys some uh, videos of me and some friends papping with it. It's going to be awesome. I love the stamping here, too. The 52A2 US Leather Tan in Japan. 11.25 inches. Neutral shape. Medium depth. Real heavy stuff there, Marucci. Good quality product if you got this far in the video i very much appreciate it it is the end of it though so if you haven't done it already go ahead and hit that like button hit the subscribe button at the same time any and all support from everyone out there is 100 percent appreciated more videos to come we got releasing videos coming up more unpapping is coming soon i'm not gonna spoil anything else as always guys i'm dr pap keep on papping